Uh, what's going on guys? ATK here. Um, first time playing Red Dead Redemption. I don't know what this game is about. I played Undead Nightmare, but um, I never played this one. Um, I don't have the legit intro of this game because I had like a little bit of music and I just didn't want it copyrighted. So I didn't really like do anything about it because I didn't want to like get copyrighted and like have this video be like private or whatever. But yeah. So, I probably won't be talking that much because this mic's, like, weird, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, it's it's going to be, like, a little series, I guess. I don't know how long this game will be. It looks like it's going to be long because it is a Rockstar game. But, because it is open world and stuff. But, like, it's a whole list thing, and which is pretty cool. And, like, I'll, I'll play it and, like, I'll make a series out of it. So let's get to it. Alright. First off, I have to go through this. One deal over here. <laughs> Has an X. Alright, bro. I fell. I don't feel too good. I'm awful. I don't think you do. Marfin! Mr. Marfin, over here! Alright, I'm coming over. Hopefully that's not freaking copyrighted crap. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends. But pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Okay. I'll break to the horses. Aren't you like a deputy, the guy? I remember someone that didn't kill him. Well, here, uh, let's mount up and hit the trail. Make it flow on the way out of town. No need to kick up a lot of dust. Come on. Woo there. Come on, Mr. Morrison. That ain't how we do things around here. Whoa. Oh, okay. So it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right! Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time! Where you going, bro? Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? Aren't we all? Yeah. Yeah. So it was the marshal who hired me. So. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Come on. Are you ain't to him, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. Slow down! Holy crap, what's this guy doing? You don't look much like no black border, fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high pollutant big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. Yeah! yeah. Yeah. I'm 
Mama told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back to go on one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? And you wind him up like a sock. Damnedest thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. It just fell. Fuck that is. Alright. Pick up there. Or does it pick up here? Pick up there, which is pretty good. So, yeah. Yeah! Right here. Okay, let's go, buddy. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, no coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Almost there, Mr. Marston, just over this hill. Holy oh crap, where are you taking me? Oh, you're taking it into this Mexican house. Whoa! This Mexican house. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. Approach the fort, Mercer. Okay, I'm gonna approach it. Let's go! We need no harm as much as possible. We gotta shoot the people up, man. Bill! All right. Bill, I've come for right, you! Right there. Is that better? Bill Not Williamson! Really, okay. Come out here right now! Go away now, John! Don't make me kill you. <coughs> Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. <coughs> you must oh, think man. I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an yep. idiot. That ain't fair, yep. Bill. You were as my brother. <coughs> I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? 100%. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, Things change, I implore buddy. you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No, no more Dutch, you're not. And no more you. Implore. Well, I'm not good. I, I implore you I know what you meant, but to I'm go good. back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Uh, oh, you oh. got shot? <laughs> what? <laughs> Poor John. So you're gonna bring out a pistol to a freaking, like, rifle fight. Makes sense.
Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, kind ma'am. Government boy. I don't know what that is, but okay. Oh, I know this place. This is up in the mountains and stuff. Well, you're believe. alive. No, it's not. This is the one with the so bowl. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? <laughs> I was... Oh... I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic. Just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on yeah, doctor's sure. bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life on me. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly I recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Oh, oh. Bonnie is on your mat. Okay. I'll just meet her over there. This is the one with the farm. Yeah, it is. This is the one with the fun bowl. The bowl is like over there. That's so cool. Alright, I'm gonna stop it here for the end, like this intro part. Um, thanks for watching, I guess, and I'll see you in the next episode. The next episode, you guys didn't get you in it. <laughs>